This is the 11th in the Wellbeing Monitor educational video series. This video is probably the most important of them all, hence it's slightly longer. It is this unique functionality that will save your loved one from unnecessary pain and suffering and even an unnecessary death. As I mentioned, the real benefit and value of this solution is not just about being informed when something does happen, but more importantly, informing you and doing something about it when something does not happen as expected. Okay, currently you visit mum on a Sunday and you usually give her a call Wednesday evening. But what about the rest of the time that she's on her own? Your loved one on her own. This is not fear selling. This is factual. And we are bringing a solution to this to deal with a common problem of vulnerable people living on their own. Just be thankful. This is just an example. Assume this is one of the days on her own. So here we are with mom and unfortunately not is all well. Mom feels unwell. It's about 2.45 in the afternoon. Sadly she has a dizzy spell and she just lays down on her sofa. Unfortunately there's no fall detection would pick up on this predicament as she lays down feeling unwell. Under normal circumstances, just no one knows of her dilemma. She is now so unwell, she is now unconscious and on her own, alone and vulnerable. And as she is now unconscious, even if she did have a personal emergency response pendant or any of the other outdated solutions, she is unconscious, so cannot press the pendant button anyway to give anyone notification. She is alone, she is on her own, and no one knows she's in trouble. So here we are, five minutes to three, and everyone is oblivious that poor mum is unconscious on her sofa. And so we start counting down for mum's next event. Within the wellbeing monitor, mum's next event is at 3 p.m. as you can see. Have you taken your blood pressure? Mum gets a reminder, but she is unconscious. She cannot respond and no one knows. How long before she is discovered? An hour? A day longer? That would be without the wellbeing monitor. As you can see, the administrator's display has automatically turned orange as soon as we go past the set time for the event. And this is notifying the administrator of a possible problem. This is the start of the escalation process. This is the start of knowing as opposed to not knowing. From this point forward, the system proactively, I emphasize proactively, issues in-app messages to the administrator, notifying them of no response or a potential problem exists. Also, the user gets push notification reminders to their screen. Normally it would be just be a helpful reminder, but in this instant, mom is unconscious, so she can't see them. The event was set up to be completed between 3 p.m. and 3.30, but it's now at that time. And as you can see, the status on the administrator's screen has now turned to red. In effect, everything in terms of escalation kicks in to notify you and other family members 
that mom is potentially in trouble. You are now being informed proactively and the system is managing by exception for you. And be grateful for this because poor mom has been laying on her sofa unconscious now for just over half an hour. How much longer would this have gone on without the well-being monitor? At this same time, coming up to a couple of minutes after 3.30, you as the administrator will receive an in-app notification, an SMS text message and an email. Plus, as you can see, your display is now showing red. All these multiple notifications will be the difference between you knowing and not knowing that mum is now having a potential serious event. If you do not respond by 3.45, for whatever reason, it escalates to the next level. At 3.45, you as the administrator and your designated backup will receive an in-app message notification, SMS text message and an email. And as you can see, I've just received a notification, I'm getting emails and I'm also getting notifications on my smartwatch. If for whatever reason neither of you responds, it escalates to the third level. As the administrator and your designated backup and now your second backup will receive the same in-app message, SMS message and an email. The process of escalation continues notifying you all, all three people every 15 minutes for the next two hours constantly sending you in-app notifications as such, SMS messages and emails and of course also notifying you on your smartwatches. It's pretty hard to believe that mum would not receive help promptly rather than everyone being unaware of her deteriorating and potentially dire situation. The high probability is the administrator will have responded promptly as the first level of escalation, but in the knowledge that additional help and support is at hand with the designated backup and second backup. Knowing mum has a probable problem and getting to help her within a short time period as opposed to her being left for an undetermined period of time on her own could be the difference between a major or minor situation and to even a life and death situation. Scaremongering you may say until this situation happens and you don't know. Family comes first. It's very hollow words unless you can take action. The well-being monitor puts you in the position of knowing and by knowing you can take action. In summary, this is probably the most important part of the solution, informing you proactively when something starts to go wrong.